Hi, I'm the man here. And yes, I uh, want to share with you something because I am called now many times to share with you something about myself, my own story. And in a way, I tell my own story by all the things I create, as you can uh, see on my uh, on my profile, my page. I uh, share things on social media and different uh, media, uh, my artwork and poems and well, all the things I do. But in a way, it's not directly um, told what I've been through and the pain and uh, the challenges. Uh, yeah, I share with you more directly maybe what I want to tell you. <laughs> so, um, yes, I'm laughing, but in a way it's not about... Uh, not about joy really and maybe it is after all because yes I healed healed this pain and uh, I've been through the challenges and I am I'm thriving <laughs> so um, I read you something I wrote divine leadership new millionaires I feel I have reached a peak in my life, a point of accumulation, where all that I am and have created converges into a sublimated form. Perhaps you can call this pure alchemy. That suddenly comes to mind. What I propagate and have to say, the mission, the vision, my life's work, it's now fully created and reaches the world. It is something that helps other light workers, chosen ones evolve into who they come to be in this world, the new world. And this is related to financial empowerment and the power of abundance from congruence with the higher self, source, God. The millionaires of the future are born from this connection. Wealth is no longer a materialistic game, but a profound alignment with the divine that you are. The world needs this shift in wealth and the universe is supplying us. And that can mean that people go from being bankrupt to prosperous, prosperous, prosperity, even from rock bottom to millionaire. This is also my path. From rock bottom to wealth. Many light workers know it. A life of lack of money. It is often in theme, in one way or another, in the lives of those who are spiritually oriented. It has to do with one's own mindset and the values assigned to money and financial wealth. But more often there is something else behind it. Many have already done research into this and have cleaned up quite a bit, transformed it. But still... At some point, it hit a bottom for me. Well, that was the bottom under rock bottom. Something that you don't share with the outside world and that unsettles everything and disrupts your life, my life. How deep I went with self-reflection, healing, energy work, mindset. I was and remained poor. Meanwhile, I didn't see myself that way because I experienced myself as nourished by life itself and everything that I, that I did and that did flow, the spiritual path and the strong connection to Source, to God and the other worlds. This also grew stronger, but I was simply poor, had no money at all and had the greatest difficulty to earn and keep a job. Most jobs made me deeply unhappy, couldn't settle and always felt driven to move forward, to create new things of my own, to invent, to inspire. What a desperation. And my family was hit by it too. Yes. 
how to deal with that, especially the feeling of guilt, when you know that you have to follow your heart and feel that you can't do anything else that you already are doing and no money comes in. But what a blessing when you realize that meanwhile, behind the scenes, in the heavens, there's so much support and prosperity has been built up enormously. Breaking ancestral patterns, becoming a diamond. After years of spiritual growth, so much clarity and peace, and still financial poverty, I realized that as a soul I had healed and liberated the patterns of my ancestors, the traumas and karma of the past and of that past life that I'm so connected to. There had been a lot of weight on this healing piece, this karmic cycle, all along. So many in the other realms have been watching with me and helping. There even was a curse blocking my wealth and abundance for so long. After all, we, deviant, other thinking ones, chosen ones, we are not allowed to flourish in many lives. We were too dangerous with our message. There is a lot of resistance to that. But little did I know when I kept going in circles, hitting rock bottom on and on, feeling I was a loser for earthly standards, while I fought real fights also in my dreams, in other dimensions, clearing, healing, fighting. Yes, that what, what we are doing as chosen ones, as warriors of the light. What a relief it was to finally receive these insights And they came after developing a lot of self-love and forgiveness and becoming more and more enlightened, especially when the guilt subsided. This is the path of the new millionaires. Yes, cut like diamonds. So maybe you recognize this, this path. Maybe it's also your struggle and you're feeling guilty or ashamed desperate, frustrated. Just want to let you know you're not alone (laughs) and you are getting through this. We are here to do something beautiful in co-creation with the divine. That's who we are. That is what we are gonna well gonna outlive gonna survive and be very successful in it yes it's time for our victory so it starts here with us to overcome this pain and to overcome this situation, this old way of life. Yeah, the time has come now, as I speak, for you and me, for us, to go forth, forward, (laughs) to go forward and creating a new, from this new, renewed place in our hearts, where we conquer this all. Yes, the work has been done now. And now it's (laughs) under the rainbow (laughs) from the pot of gold. We're creating a new, a new palette, a new, a new canvas, you can say. So come along with me and create your own masterpiece.